Let's talk about slant or oblique asymptotes. So these are just two different words for the same type of object. So these slant or oblique asymptotes, those occur when the degree of the numerator is exactly one more than the degree of the denominator. Okay, so another way of saying this is if your function was a rational function or some function that looked like f of x over g of x like this, when you um, looked at what that function basically looks like, that function basically looks like mx plus b for large values of x. So I think a picture would make this uh, idea a little bit clearer. So let me draw a set of axes over here. We have a set of axes over here like this. And then I'm going to draw my oblique asymptote in red. So let's say here's this point B, and then I have a line that looks like this. Just draw a little dotted line. And this is Y is equal to MX plus B, like this. Then an example of what your function might look like is your function might look something like, you know, maybe it comes like, oh, Maybe it comes down like this. Maybe this part comes down like this. And then maybe the other part of the function looks like this. So what do I want you to notice? I want you to notice that as x gets bigger and bigger, the top part of the graph looks like it's hugging the slant asymptote or the line. As x gets more and more negative, it looks like my graph is hugging the line as well. So this line, even though it's not horizontal or vertical, this line looks like an asymptote because the graph sort of hugs the line as x gets really positive or really negative. So let's take a look at an example. Let's look at example four. Okay. In example four, when I look at the degree of the numerator, the degree of the numerator is two. When I look at the degree of the denominator, the degree of the denominator is one. So this tells me that the uh, degree of the numerator is equal to two. Degree of the denominator is equal to one. And two is exactly one more than one. So this tells me I have a slant asymptote. So since 2 is equal to 1 plus 1, we have a slant asymptote. So the natural question that you're wondering is, OK, I know I have a slant asymptote. How do I calculate what it is? And the answer to that is we need to do polynomial division. So I'm going to draw a little division house thingy, and I'm going to put 3x squared plus 4x plus 0 inside the house. So one comment I want to mention is you want to make sure all powers of x are represented. OK. And then for the denominator piece that goes outside the house, that's going to be 7x minus 5. Okay, so when I want to do the long division, I need to figure out what do I need to multiply 7x by in order to achieve 3x squared. So I hope we can all see that if I multiplied by 3 sevenths x, that would make that happen. So I'm going to do that. When I multiply, I'm going to get 3x squared for the first term. For the second term, I'm going to get minus 15 over 7 x and uh, there is no last term 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put parentheses around these guys. I'm going to subtract the second polynomial from the first polynomial. And when I do that, I'm going to get a 0, which is, you know, how I designed it. And then I'm going to have the following. I'm going to have to distribute this negative. So a negative times a negative is going to be a positive. And I can think of uh, the number 4 as 28 over 7. So 28 over 7 plus 15 over 7 is going to give me 43 over 7. So I'll have 43 over 7x. All right. And then what I want to do next is I want to figure out what do I need to multiply 7x by in order to achieve 43 over 7x? And I think the answer to that question is I need to multiply by 43 over 49, right? So when I multiply 43 over 49 times 7x, I am going to get 43 over 7x, which is what I wanted. But I still need to distribute and multiply the negative 5 by 43. So negative 5 times 43 is going to give me uh, negative 215 over 49. And now I got to subtract these guys. So I'm going to put parentheses around there. I'm going to subtract. And when I subtract, I'm going to get 0. I distribute the negative, so it becomes plus 215 over 49. Okay, so what did I just realize happened? Let's write it out. So what happened is that my h of x, which was equal to 3x squared plus 4x all divided by 7x minus 5, this is exactly equal to 3 over 7x plus 43 over 49. Uh, plus 215 over 49 divided by 7x minus 5, okay? So this, this piece right here, this piece right here is the remainder piece. So let me label that. This is the remainder piece. And this remainder piece this guy goes to zero as x gets big. So that part is going to disappear, right? So the part that's not the remainder piece, this 3 over 7x plus 43 over 49, this piece is our slant asymptote. Okay, so if you wanted to write your slant asymptote as an equation of a line, the slant asymptote is going to be y equal to 3 over 7x plus 43 over 49. And I'm going to highlight that because that is our final answer. All right, everyone, we'll work on some classwork together in class. Take care.